Good morning, Coyotes, and welcome back to another edition of Good Morning Castaic. I hope you all had a great weekend and are ready for this week. My name is Izzy Calibran Tribble, and I'm going to be your host for today's show. Today we have tons of segments for you, including a story on the Castaic Theatre Company, a story asking if students are ready to return back to campus, and much more. Make sure you stick around because Good Morning Castaic starts right now. crazy over these past few months as everyone has had to become familiar with doing school and work from our homes. But the Castaic Theatre Company has found ways to overcome this challenge. To start off our show for today, we have a segment on the Castaic Theatre Company and how they are producing their shows virtually. GMC's Chase Oliveira brings us more. Good morning, Coyotes. I'm Chase Oliveira, and today we're going to delve deep into the fabrics of the Castaic Theatre Company to find out exactly what they've been up to lately. Before we begin, I'm going to grab my computer, put on some sandals, and journey outside to start the meeting. It's a tough journey, but I made it. Now I'm going to set up my computer and call an actor from the theater program. Hi McKenna. Wait, wait, sorry, we're breaking up. So apparently I had to move locations. So in the meantime, McKenna's going to tell you why she joined theater. I've always loved theater ever since I was in elementary school. I love being able to go onto a stage and completely transform into another person and do what I love, which is to dance and to sing and to just, I don't know, perform. <laughs> nice. So in theater, are there different roles or jobs that anyone can do? Oh, there's definitely a lot of roles. Uh, people sometimes think that theater is just all about acting, but we have tech roles. We have like people who work on costume designing, lighting. There's a lot of roles. It's not just limited to just actors. Cool. So what are some of your roles? I primarily am an actor, but sometimes I will help design. Like I design the posters for our productions that we do here. And sometimes I'll help with costume choices or just anything that needs to be, you know, assisted with if some people can't make decisions. So what were some of the productions that you did last year? One of them we did for the D-Task Theater Festival that was online this year. My group performed Antigone Now. And then the other one we did was a winter theater thing for an elementary school in which we performed winter stories like Polar Express or The Mitten or a Snowy Day for our kids to help them get through this difficult period where they can't see anybody. So it was just something for them to enjoy. Oh, that's good. And that also brings me to my other question. How has theater changed due to online learning? Definitely a lot more challenging in a lot of ways. I think it's it's almost been better for us because we've learned how to work around those challenges and become closer as a theater family, as a company. So we've definitely had a lot of fun too. So that's always good. And what's the process you guys always go through to create a show? So our theater director, Mrs. Mystery, she's awesome. She usually picks out the performance we're gonna do. And then the first few weeks we spend really getting to know our characters and like get into our characters' mindsets before we actually can start portraying them on our performance. And then we just piece it together and then we have the performance. And can you tell us anything about the project you're currently working on? A play called She Kills Monsters. It's about a girl who discovers her sister's leftover Dungeons and Dragons module after she dies. And so she plays the game to figure out what her sister was like before she died. It's very, very interesting. And I really hope people come to see it because we're going to have a lot of fun putting it on. I'm looking forward to watching it. Thank you, McKenna. And for those coyotes still watching, the unofficial performance dates are March 25th and 26th. This is Chase Oliveira reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Bye. Thanks, Chase. It's good to see that even during these times, we've all found ways to keep going. Next, we're going to jump over to Amanda Lee, who has prepared some fun trivia questions for us. Let's see what she has for us. Um, one hockey team will have, I think, six players on the ice at one time. Nine? Thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. Thirty-two degrees Fahrenheit. S M H. Shake my head. 
no idea. <laughs> Sahara. Sahara? Uh, Woody. Woody. Some of those were really tricky. Speaking of trivia, did you know that the month of March is Women's History Month? During this time, we recognize all of the amazing women who have helped shape our history. In honor of this, Maya Goiza has prepared a segment for us. This month is Women's History Month, which is a celebration of women's accomplishments and contributions to history. Today, March 8th, the world celebrates International Women's Day, which has been observed since the year 1911. There are many overlooked and little-known successes by women that are brought into the light at this time of year. Women who flew planes, became doctors, and pursued careers in science despite social inequities are something to be celebrated. Some things you can do to celebrate Women's History Month are to educate yourself about the history of women's rights, watch documentaries, or read up on women who made a difference in the world. You can also support the women of today by buying from women-owned businesses, reading books, listening to music, and watching movies made by women. You can also write a letter or send an email expressing your gratitude to a woman who has made a difference in your life, such as a grandmother or teacher. Finally, you can learn about the challenges that women still face today and support an organization or group that has a cause you care about. That's it for now. I'm Maya Giza for Good Morning Castaic. Thanks, Maya. That was really interesting. Before we move on, we're going to take a quick break and check out the announcements for this week. What's up, Coyotes? My name is Christopher Casey, and I'm here to give you another round of announcements. So let's see what's on the chopping block today. Registration is starting, and there will be a new elective called Journalism being out for all grades. So if you wish to participate in journalism next year, then go into the Daily Bulletin for the registration form. Come show your support for the Band Inquirer team at Pan Express on Wednesday, March 10th through 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. All 20% of the proceeds will go to the program itself. If you wish to have more information or the address to the Panda Express, it will be on the Daily Bulletin. Do you like traveling? Do you like to go around the world? Maybe especially Europe? Well, Miss Prez will be holding a trip in 2022 to Paris and Barcelona. If you want to go and participate or have any questions, please contact her. Her information will be on the Daily Bulletin. If you want to show your support for the girls soccer team, go on to the online web store and go and grab yourself a face mask with the team logo on it. Personally myself, I can kind of think it's cool. Now for some quick club news. The Art Club, the Anime Club, the Environmental Club, the Red Cross Club, and the Latinx Culture Appreciation Club are all looking for new members. So if you are to join any of those clubs, then go to the Daily Bulletin and go and look for more information there and also some contact information if you have any questions. And that's pretty much all that we have for today, Coyotes. I hope you stay safe and have a great rest of your day. My name is Christopher Casey, again, reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Thanks, Chris. That's good to know. As COVID-19 numbers have gone down recently, going into hybrid learning seems like a possibility. In our next segment, Torin Rikers talks to some CHS students to see if they're ready to return back to campus. Let's see what they had to say. While Castaic High School stands empty, the question of attending school in person continues to grow. As I'm sure most of you already know, all elementary schools in the Santa Clarita Valley have opened and are ready for in-person learning. High school students, however, are still forced to continue learning at a distance. Some students are disappointed, and others don't feel safe returning to campus. I don't feel it's safe to return to campus because even though we'll be wearing masks, I don't think teachers or yard supervisors will be able to mandate that very well. Um, so it just doesn't seem like the best thing to be doing right now, and we should return next year instead. I'd rather return to campus next year because if we return to campus this year, it'll be just be too last minute and we'll only have a month to really get to do anything on campus and it'll be only half and half and I don't know, it just seems too much. We can see that some students hope to continue learning at a distance, but others hope to return to campus before the end of the year. I want to return to campus because online school has been difficult for me and also I want to go back to see my friends. I think it might be safe to return to campus as long as they have 
a lot of hand sanitizer, masks, social distancing, and smaller classes just to have less social interaction that can lead to problems with COVID. Although we have students on both sides of the issue, there are still a ton of factors that the district must take into consideration before returning to school. Reporting for Good Morning Castaic, my name is Torn Rikers. Thanks for the insight. Here at GMC, we took a survey asking students if they would like to return to campus this year or next. 53% said that they would like to return in the fall and 47% said that they would like to return whenever possible. Things are changing on an almost daily basis, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Next up, we have a quick PSA giving tips on resources in the Santa Clarita Valley to help with mental health. Let's take a look. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected everyone, but especially teens. Seven out of 10 teens have said that they have seen their mental health decrease significantly since quarantine has started. But here in the Santa Clarita Valley, we have many resources to help in this area. One of these resources is the Santa Clarita Valley Mental Health Center. Here, teens can find support 24-7 through their helpline or can come by on Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Tuesday until 8 p.m. following COVID-19 procedures. The William S. Hart Union School District also allows students to reach out to the Hart District Wellness website. Here, teens can find support through an access to a variety of different resources, including videos of encouragement, social distancing, virtual tours, and information on self-care. This website is merely a few clicks away at the following link. That's all I have for today. Those resources can definitely come in handy. Before we end our show for today, we have our Coyote of the Week. This segment is to acknowledge all of the amazing Coyotes here at Castaic High School for their outstanding behavior and work. This student will receive a personalized certificate for their achievements and a $15 gift card to Barnes & Noble. Hi, Alina. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? Good, so I have really exciting news. I wanted to let you know that I've nominated you as Coyote of the Week. And the reason I have is because you've gone above and beyond. You're doing amazing, participating, trying really hard. You're just bringing your best foot forward every day, and we're so proud of you. So, because you're Coyote of the Week, um, Castig has teamed up with Logic's Credit Union, and they're going to give me a Barnes & Noble gift card. Exciting. Yeah. So I just am really proud of you, and keep up the great work, okay? Okay. Congratulations, Alina, and a big thanks to Logic's Credit Union who provided the gift card. And with that, our show is coming to a close. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GM Castaic, where you can find exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. You can also watch replays of our shows on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, Coyotes, and have a great week.